Um, after high school, I went to Geneseo, which is part of the State University of New York college system um, in upstate New York. After that, I went to veterinary school at Ross University in St. Kitts. Uh, from there, I did my clinical year at the University of Florida. Then I did an internship um, in small animal medicine and surgery in Chicago. And from there, I actually did several years working as an emergency doctor in private practice and then finally went back for residency at the University of Florida uh, in neurology. I actually wanted to do aquatic medicine um, and zoo medicine, and, but I always just loved how things just, you know, like learning about how things work. And I've always had that mind of wanting to know how every little thing works. Um, and so that's really what it was. I kind of fell back on neurology because ever since going through school and kind of learning a little bit about it, I was always really, really interested in it. And that's why I wanted to move forward and um, just kind of having a better understanding as to how the brain really works to connect to the body um, has always been so interesting to me. So it was actually after my residency, my first job in private practice, um, I have a patient that absolutely stands out. Um, his name was Chewy. He was a kind of middle-aged golden retriever, and he came in after being unable to walk for about four to five months. Um, and he was kind of, the family was told by the primary veterinarian that this was likely just something really bad and that his prognosis was poor. And so they just kind of were loving on him for all those months, even though he continued to decline. And when they finally found um, us to see him, we you know, told them, yes, that's very possible, but we offered imaging and turns out the dog just had a herniated disc all that time. And when we took him to surgery, um, even after about four months of him being completely unable to walk, he got up and was just the happiest dog after that. And he got his life back. And that was so immensely rewarding to give him that back. I think the most rewarding thing about being a neurologist is really giving pets, you know, again, as our company believes in that second chance and, and having their lives back to normal in a lot of cases. Now, of course, that's not every pet, but in so many where people think that there's no chance of them being able to walk again, we can make that happen. Um, and just giving them the best quality of life possible, even if it may not be for as long as we want, it's still, you know, improving their overall quality of life. So I think what's unique about Seven is that we are, as a neurology specific company, a neurology only company, is that we are able to really give each pet the appropriate amount of time. We're never feeling rushed. Um, even on busy days, we're able to provide a high level of care to every patient. And every single team member kind of uh, shares the same values and we hold a very high standard of care throughout our company. And that's what we want every owner to know is that we are treating all their patients in very high regard and we want to do what's best for them. So I do have one dog, her name is Nalu. She's a Catahoula Leopard mix. Um, and she is special because she just loves to be active. And so she fits in with our family. We love to be outside and she um, likes to be with us with everything we're doing. And she loves the beach and the water. And that's something that I love about her because we want to have her involved with all those things that we're doing outside of work. When I'm not at seven working, um, I definitely spend my free time with my family now. I am a new mom to a one and a half year old, so she keeps me on my toes all the time. And she's, it's just been amazing watching her grow and becoming a mother has been very life changing for me, but I've loved every minute of it. Right now I love the most spending, spending time with my daughter and my family as a group together and just starting to really see what she loves and you know, getting outside and watching her enjoy the outdoors too and she loves to be outside so we that's a great thing about living in south florida is we can be out all year long and watching her have fun